Alright, I think that it is time for us to move, except, uh, I, like, I was looking at the broom over here, like, a couple of times, but, eh, it doesn't really, eh, it doesn't really show me the option to examine it, which is a bummer. Okay, well, time to, hmm, nothing here, let me see, uh, nah, it's the same, when I was here two days ago, that weird lock wasn't on it. Those chains. It's almost as they're guarding something inside that cavern. Hmm. Okay. Then, uh, let's go here and then slide over here. Also, I'm gonna have to think about this. Like, if the scene of the crime was on this side and if the bridge was already burning, and if what uh, Larry is telling us is the truth, that he saw a body flying over the bridge and such, then that would mean that when the bridge was burning, our killer or somebody managed to get the body from, sit from this side to the other side. But how? Like, <laughs> like, besides that one theory that I gave before about them doing like a Tarzan of some sort with the uh, with the body, like a rope of some sort, to the other side. Actually, hmm. I think the wire that was tied to this one probably snapped when the bridge burned down. Snapped. Hmm. Well, maybe it's not like Tarzan, but maybe... Maybe it snapped and used some force. And then the body just propelled to the other side. I wonder. I mean, there's no way there was ever a portal all the way up here. Hmm. I mean, besides that, what, like, what other possibility is there? They used, like, a snowmobile? And then just, like, jumped all the way? To the other side or they use like a catapult of some sorts in which case i don't see like any catapult what about this though like there was snow over here like there's nothing inside here and yet yet there was snow over here which could mean that the incinerator which could mean that the incinerator got used at some point. Or they carry the snow somewhere? And the bridge. You can see this good bridge from here. It's an unusually long bridge, isn't it? I would say it's about 20 yards. And the bridge is too wide to cross with a piece of rope of wire, huh? Therefore, no one has crossed the gorge in either direction since the night of the murder. A simple yet sound deduction, wouldn't you say, Phoenix Wright? Hmm. Okay, well, what should we do? Should we go on this side and... I guess talk with... Um, talk with uh, Bikini, since she has those uh, uh, Cyclops. Yeah, she has like five Cyclops. That or Edgeworth and Iris arrived here. Let's see. Since you have a visitor. Ah, uh, Mr. Wright. Iris. Iris. I'm really glad to see you. Gotta manage to mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Not him again. Never mind him. I gotta carry and lock the sacred cavern. Ah, sorry, Mr. Wright. It's my fault someone so important to you is logged in there. Mr. Andorf, can we finish our conversation later? Alright. Let's hurry to the inner temple then. I'll see you later, right? Hold it! Hold it right there! Wait, Edgeworf! I'm coming with you guys! Sorry, right? I can allow you to come with us. But why? What? I had to be the one to break to you, but. My face is in a rather delicate position. What do you mean by delicate position? Like, uh, we know she might be stuck inside the cavern. But we have to be there, for her. 
This is not a simple rescue operation, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, we can all allow members of the public to interfere. Members of the public? But Nick is investigating this. Come on, Edgeworth. If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, right? But it's... Mr. Wright. All that matters is that Mystic Maya is rescued, correct? I... Listen to the voice of Freezen for a change. Phoenix Wright. From now on, consider anything beyond this could appear to be off limits. We'll be going now. Excuse us. Ugh. Okay, don't, don't, don't be, don't be whipping me while I'm thinking here. Hmm. Like, it could be that Edgeworth knows something more than we do at this point. Since, no doubt, uh, he talked with Iris some more right now. And that they are going to continue the conversation later. Like, they could be thinking, they could be thinking that Maya is dead. But maybe there's also something more to it, the reason why Edgeworth is not even letting us on the other side. This is no time to be standing around, Phoenix Wright. Are there other things that demand your attention? Uh, she's right. Thanks. For reminding me. Like, for example, this snowmobile up here. I don't know what that thing was used for on the night of the crime. <laughs> Still thinking small, I see. Phoenix Wright. Or perhaps not at all. That's why you will never defeat me. Ah, well, sorry to burst your bubble, but I don't recall ever losing to you. It's time for us to settle this once and for all, with one final showdown. Looks like she mentally blocked out my victories over her, over her from her memory. Yeah, that and, well, since we have uh, Gato, like, finally, around here, I guess that would mean that he's gonna take the reins once more. And there's one impressive gate. Compared to the grandeur of the main gate at the Von Kama Estate, it's but a pet door. That's really idyllic with all the snow in it, don't you think? All the snow? <laughs> don't make me laugh. This is but a light dusting of where I come from. You mean to say that it's all covered in snow? Like, how high? Like 20 yards? Don't make things up just because you think I'll never get to see it for myself. <laughs> because we will see it at some point. Don't you worry, we are gonna visit your house at some point. And find out some dirty secrets. It's a quaint little bill tower. And I would've thought that something this horrible was about to happen. And I just rang the lights out bell that night. And the lights out bell, hmm. You can see the main hall from here. I wonder how the head nun is holding up. Oh, wow. Is that an inkling of human kindness I see? We <laughs> enjoy causing other people pain with that sharp tongue of yours. Well, no doubt that Nick has a sharp tongue. It's nothing compared to the pain you cause with that literary whip of yours. Yeah, true. Although she didn't do that as much with the bikini, that's yeah, for sure. With Larry Bird's for sure. Maybe it's a men thing. Like, she loves, um, uh, she loves uh, whipping men specifically. Eh. Can't say that that is the first time I'm seeing such behavior. See, the beginning looks like she's shrunk some since I last saw her. Don't be so rude, Phoenix, right? What's wrong, Sister Bikini? <laughs> my, my, my. Hello, you two. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, the sun at that side. I guess she's still pretty down. Iris was just here, you know. She was accompanied by the handsome Crimson Cloud Prince. Cloud. Is she talking about Edward? It certainly is not the. Uh, it certainly is not the green gob. It certainly is not the green, like uh, the green um, cyclops. <laughs> yeah, it was just a credit call. I wasn't allowed to talk with her at all. Oh dear! It's all my fault that this has happened. Poor Iris. She is worried about my back. Would you believe? What have I done to her? Only what you had to do, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There is no shame in that. 
And we'll see to it that your testimony wasn't made in vain. Well, I don't hear anyone else saying that. Mr. Blue Suits doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Huh? Me? Ah, well. Uh, yes, you, you did great, Sister Bikini. Absolutely spectacular! You two are the only ones who said that to me. I should the thing that I just became a show to a shrew. So you had the problem, Phoenix Wright? Sure, she was brave to test twice so truthfully like that. But I know she's still hiding something. It is time to break those cyclops of hers. <sighs> I guess we can. We've done quite a few in quite a... I mean, we only investigated mostly, like, the caverns and in the garden as such. I don't know if we found out that much evidence. But... We postponed it for a really long time, so I guess we can try. You know, she has five freaking Cyclops. I hope that it's all gonna be enough. Now we have enough to break all of them. Since the beginning, the truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Dolly's Dawnum had a special significance to this temple. As to why she had a special significance, I believe it has to do with her true identity. True identity. What on earth are you talking about? She... she was... Miss Ikalese was an author. Just an offer of picture books. To be honest, I had my suspicion almost immediately after I met her. S suspicions Yes. But I didn't have any evidence to support my theory, though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Miss Darlin's true identity. Hmm. Well, she is... She is important, that's for sure. As if it wasn't established enough, we also have this. The Kurai Master's Talisman. Which was worn by Ellie's Donnie. That doesn't mean that she was not just a picture book offer. Miss Donham had this charm with her at all times. Ah! <laughs> Where did you? This isn't some cheap good luck charm, either. D then... D then... What do you think it is, Mr. Wright? What could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, isn't it? Interesting. Oops! This thing speaks volumes about who Miss Dawn really was. This talisman and one other item inequitably prove Miss Dawn's true identity. One other... item. Huh. Oh god. Oh god, this is... This is most certainly interesting. Quite indubitably interesting. This is the first time I'm even thinking about this. Like, yeah, I was thinking that... That this person is definitely more important, that... Maybe she's part of the Fae or... Something, but... This might... Could this actually be Misty Fay? You mean she could be Maya's mother? Take that! The painting is obscured by this gravy stain at the moment. But this girl shows the master of the Kurain Chenli technique. Yeah. Master of the Kurain Chenli technique. And that talisman was uh, was that of a master of Kurain. The crest at the top is a sign of that honorable title. I see. The crest. It was on the talisman as well. Not just the Magatama, but the dots and the... And the... Sp sperms. And the very same crest that adorns the talisman the victim carried with her. Yeah, that's true. Good thinking, Nick. Good thinking. Ah! This crest is reserved for the Master of Kurai. Who not told you that nonsense? 
I've got no idea what you're talking about. The new master, Maya Fig, told me. The... What? You mean, that acolyte is Misty Faye's... Yeah, it is Misty Faye's daughter. So, we've... we've seen that before. You knew that at least Donna was definitely important. But yet, you couldn't tell that this acolyte, Maya Faye, was actually her daughter. Daughter? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, since her old eldest daughter passed away, Maya is Misty Faye's sole successor. Mystic Misty! Oh! Okay, well. I guess that was enough. You know, I guess it makes sense. One could have as many locks as they can, but if you offer them the biggest evidence of them all that contradicts everything else that you're trying to say, then, well, they could disappear altogether. <laughs> we don't have to break every single lock every single time. Eh, I guess so. Mystic Elise graced us with her presence about a week ago. When she showed me the talisman with that mark on it, I nearly fainted. No one had seen her since she disappeared 17 years ago, after all. What is the significance of this talisman, sister? The Kurain talisman? It's the symbol of the Master of Kurain. The bearer must carry it with them always until their death. Until their death. So at least Donna was really Maya's mother, huh? You yeah, know, it seemed that we finally found her. Except now she's dead. Man, I tell you, once more, Maya is... Maya is cursed, that poor thing. Now we're talking about the possibility that Maya is trapped in a sacred cavern. And we are finding out that her mother, the one that disappeared all this time, and after all these years, yeah, we saw her, like, right now. She's dead. Jesus freaking Christ. What did Maya do to deserve all this? Like, all these years of pain. She was Mr. Fei, the master of the Korean channeling technique. The truth comes out at last. It looks like we are making some headway here. Tell me, sister. After 17 years, why did she choose to show herself now? Because something happened that called her out of hiding. Something happened that called her out of hiding? What happened? Well... What's happening? Oh god! Someone is challenging the Kurain technique so hard! This place is gonna explode! It's Maya! It can't be. Earthquake! Oh god! Ah! My goodness, they're in a temple! This kind of tremor might. It's in a temple! It's a sacred cavern in the training hall! It might very well cave in! What? Maya! It, it seems to have passed. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was quite the, quite, quite the earthquake. Oh, Jesus. Maya, I hope, I hope to God that you're safe. Also, wait, that was an earthquake. Edgeworth! Oh my god, he might be in danger as well! Oh, Jesus Christ. This type of earthquake might make him die. Wait, we can't just stand here and do nothing. Let's go. What? Where? To the inner temple, of course. Where else? Speaking. We'll finish this later, right? Of course. You run along now. People may have been hurt. I must get some first aid kits ready. Come on, Zen Phoenix, right? They won't bother you from entering as long as I'm with you. Th thank you. 
And right at that moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. I just had an earthquake. I wonder if he's alright. Yeah. That poor thing. He must be... He must be... He must be in a fetus position at this point, sucking his finger in the snow, no doubt. You look worried. Are you thinking about Miles Edgeworth? Come on, let's go. Alright. Move it, move it, move it. We have to go. Gotta hurry to the other temple land. Right. Edgeworth! Oh, thank god. You seem to be a all right, you're not, you're not on a, you're not in your fetus position and sucking your finger. Ah, what are you doing here? <laughs> How could I? Have? Edward, are you okay? How do you expect us to understand if you don't speak up? Yo, hey, why am I the one getting ripped? She, she's gone. You mean Iris? No. Defend and Iris. She's gone. Gone where? She fled. She escaped. God damn it, Iris. What? So, it was just now. During the. It's easy to see Edward's one and only weakness his fear of earthquakes. Yeah, no doubt that Iris took advantage of that weakness and ran away. Yeah, she should have known better than to escort the defendant alone. As soon as the gun started shaking, everything went dark before my eyes and... I stupidly passed out. In that instant, haunts you to this day, doesn't it? Ah, Jesus. I mean... We all... We overcame one big fear of your past. Edgeworth, what we want with Manfred von Karma, but I guess that still haunts you. The earthquake and all. And that's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't believe I let it happen. Right, the inner temple area is a dead end, so she could have only escaped to this side. We haven't seen her. We need to get a mine hunt and wait now. And search Eagle Mountain from top to bottom. But wait, Edgeworth. Have you thoroughly checked the inner temple yet? D don't be ridiculous. Why would I? The inner temple is like an island. There would, there's no way to escape but cross... No, that's not it. Iris isn't the type of person to run away, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? Sister Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. She said that the secret cavern might have caved in because of the quake. Then you think Iris might have gone to the inner temple to check on the situation? I mean, that could be. Like that is... Like that or she's trying to do something that we don't know of. That might make the situation even worse. Listen, Edward. I'm sure she's at the inner temple. A manhunt is not necessary. Right. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get to the training hall secret cavern now. Alright, let's go. Alright. Well, at least Edgeworth is fine. Importantly, the secret cavern hadn't caved in. I mean, the last time I checked, Edgeworth did pass out before an hour. But... What we found... Was something none of us could have ever expected. Duh! Can there be even more locks? Iris. Why? Ah, Jesus Christ. I mean this has This has to have something to do with Dahlia, but why would Iris do something like that? If Maya is still in there, someone like Iris to to trap my even more inside. Except maybe Iris is Dahlia, but that doesn't really make sense because we checked her fingerprints. There's no way that Iris could be Dahlia, in which case... Yeah, 
I, I still don't know if Dada is still still in prison right now. I don't know. What is the meaning of this? Hires. Hires, please tell me. What the hell is going on? Right. Is this what Gato was talking about? Yeah. The trick locks. Not the others. Please remove these at once. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm afraid I cannot. Why? It, it's not possible for me. What? During the earthquake, when the cavern was in danger of caving in, Iris escaped. Now that there was only one lock when I last came here. So you're saying that you cannot undo the new locks? Yes. If only I was stronger. Edward, how are you feeling? You look a little pale in the face. Like you're the one to talk with your face all green. Miles Edgeworth, go and get some air. I'll watch over the suspect. You go and get a grip on yourself. Don't be ridiculous. I believe like there is no telling what sort of mistakes you could make in your current state. Go and get some rest! That's your only concern now, Miles Edgeworth. <sighs> Understood. I'll handle any investigation in the guard. You take care of things here. <sighs> well, no doubt that Edgeworth is blaming himself for this. <sighs> Iris, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Why are you complicating things for us? I did say that there's no way that this iris over here is Dahlia. Because of the fingerprints that Gumshoe checked. I mean, there has to be someone around here that is a killer. That is for sure. I mean, definitely cannot be Pearls. Definitely cannot be Maya. It could be Dahlia. Who is hiding around here somewhere. Maybe somehow pretending to be Iris. The reason why at times I Iris is acting so suspicious and at other times... Wait, no, that doesn't really make sense. I mean, besides uh, when things happened, when the murder happened and all that, Iris was always at the detention center. Up until now, that is. That Iris that we had at the detention center could only be Iris. There's no way that is Dahlia, because the fingerprints. But now, things are getting confusing. Maybe there's Iris and Dahlia on this island as well, here on this side, or at Halakura Temple, and they are doing all this switcheroo while we're investigating to further their plan, whatever that is. Either Iris is being forced to do what Dahlia says, or Iris even though she is not Dahlia, is evil as well. I mean, the possibility of twins, both of them being evil, that's that's not far-fetched either. Hmm, I didn't even think about that possibility. Even if this Iris is not Dahlia, she could be evil as well. It's got so much right that he's probably all crying in a corner of the garden. Oh. Pride is simply another trap that hinders us in our lives. Yeah. I mean, it surely hinders you, Franny. That said, one must have pride to be effective on the job. At any rate, it seems that this is where we part ways, Phoenix Wright. But, where the, where the hell are you going? I'm going to stay here and see if I can help solve these bothersome puzzles. I see you. Well, thanks for your help. Now then, do you mind if I ask you a few things, Iris? No, not at all. Alright. Tell us. Why did you escape? Why did you come here? Why did you make a run for it, Iris? I, I'm sorry. I heard the inner temple had been severely shaken by the strong earthquake we had. I 
I was so worried. I just had to come and see. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. At least we are clear on that. Not quite. I cannot tell you how hurried I was when I saw the secret turn was alright, but... But what? And then I saw these chains here. I saw all these extra logs that someone had pulled on the sacred cavern's door, and... Hmm... I mean... These logs can be opened only by those that have put it, right? At least, that's what I remember. That or only those who have knowledge of these logs are capable of putting them and opening them. Which would mean that... Either Iris is the one that put the new extra logs, or somebody else who has the knowledge have put these logs here. I cannot be bikini, she was on the other side when we talked to her when this happened. So either it could be Iris, or maybe Dahlia. Maybe she has some knowledge of of um, of the Kurain and such, and we didn't even know, because, well, they might be twins, so maybe Dahlia knows some stuff about this as well. That or... could it be pearls? For what reason, though? I mean, if Maya is inside there, there's no way their pearls would be the one to put those locks. Or maybe Maya is not in there, in which case Pearls would put those logs for some completely different reason. For what reason, I don't know. And if we are even mentioning the possibility that Maya is not even there inside there, maybe Maya is the one that put those logs. Like right there, and she's hiding somewhere else. But then again, why? Is there something inside those caverns that is important to us? If... If we're not talking about Maya. In the world, we'll do something like this. District locks are a sacred treasure of the Kurain tradition. There are hundreds of ways to set them. That's why only the person who set the lock can open it. And you aren't the one who set these locks. I don't think it's that simple, Francisco von Karma. When we were here the first time, there was only one lock. But now, somehow, there's five of them. What does that mean? It means that someone wanted to secure the place even more. And they wanted to secure it before you got here, Iris. Presumably because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. Hmm... I mean, now didn't mention it. The one that put the lock is the only one that knows how to open it as well. We do know that, well, it is known, but not 100% sure that Iris is the one that put the first lock. If she is the same person that put all those five locks, then it doesn't really make that much of a difference now that I think about it. One lock is enough. But five locks? That's a little bit redundant if it comes from the same person. However, if Iris is the one that put the first lock, and somebody else put those other four locks, then it makes sense. If there was only one lock here, and Iris were about to unlock it here, then the caverns would have been locked. But now, if somebody else put those four remaining locks, even if Iris managed to unlock the first one, we would still need that other person to unlock the other four ones. So, that way it would be much more difficult to open the cavern. Otherwise, whether it's five locks or one lock, all of them done by ours, she could easily open them as long as she is here. If we are to force her to do this. So, yeah. I guess that is one thing to consider if, to, if we are to think that Iris is not at fault for this. This means that Iris can only open one of these locks. The first one. Yes, that's correct. What? Iris, try to think, please. Is there any way around this? 
Well, like I said, there are hundreds of different ways to seat these locks. I suppose if I went through every combination with each one, I could remove them. You can. But... It'll take time, won't it? Yes. About a day, if I had to guess. Good enough. A whole day? Well, that's better than leaving the locks in place. Will you do this for us? Sh sure I'll do whatever I can. I got to wait another day. Hang in there, Maya. You're going to have to call on your inner strength now. Huh. But, okay. If we are to think about this, then... Somebody else is at fault for this. Pearls... Either Pearls or Maya, if, if she's not in there. Dahlia, who is probably hiding somewhere and pretending to be Iris, or maybe not even pretending, she's just hiding somewhere and we don't know. That or... Could it be Gato? I mean... She could, he could have been stuck here, on this side. Reason why we didn't even see him, like in the first day of trial. That could be a possibility, but in which case, what does he have to do with all of this, I wonder. I mean, there is a strong connection between Gato and Dahlia, that is for sure. And, well, maybe Gato took a wind of the occult magazine as well. Or something else that made him curious about this place. So he came here, and one thing led to another, and then he got stuck on this side of the bridge. You know what, Iris? There's still one thing I don't quite get. And what might that be, Phoenix Fight? I think it's obvious. Ours. On the night of the murder, where were you? Please, Ours. Don't give me that look. You told us that you were in your room at House of Horror Temple at the time of the incident. But you were seen the same evening at the Inner Temple. And then, you were spotted at the scene of the crime in House of Horror Temple, too. Being spotted at both House of Horror Temple and the Inner Temple. It's as if you were... Well, Iris, I think it's about time you told us the truth. <sighs> I knew it. There's something going on here that we don't know about. Alright, fine. I guess we're gonna do things a little differently. We're gonna talk about this a little bit later, Iris. This door. When I was here earlier, there was only one lock. But now there's five of them. Those chains. It's almost as if they are guarding something inside that cavern. I've never seen locks quite like these before. I'm thinking of a motive for why somebody else, like a third party, would put like extra locks. Like, as I said before, even if we unlocked the first one that Iris put, we wouldn't be able to unlock the other ones. In fact, Iris would need a whole day to unlock the other ones. What if... What if Gado is the one that put these as revenge for Nick? Obviously, Gado has a bone to pick with Nick, and now we know why. He... He also he is of the thought that Nick is at fault for letting Mia Fey die. And now Garo is having a revenge on Nick by putting even more locks so that Maya would truly die by the time the caverns would be unlocked. And thus Nick would suffer after this. That could be a motive. Like I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that Gato is a killer. We don't know that yet. We only, I'm only thinking of the motive for why Gato would put the locks there in the first place. To have revenge on Nick. But, well, that would imply that Gato is going to be the murderer of, uh, of Maya in that case. Well, I guess it kind of depends. 
if Maya was still alive at this point. I mean, she has to. If she's still alive and Gado put those logs, and by tomorrow, Maya's not gonna be alive, then, well, Gado killed her. But, just, just saying. I'm just gonna mention this. If Maya is, is dead by this point, then Gado is not the killer at that point. Technically speaking, even though Gado made sure that Maya, that Maya is gonna die if he's the one that put those locks. But if Maya died by this point, then in trial, he is not gonna be accused of murder. At least, that's what I'm thinking with this law system of Japanifornia, that is. Which is totally bullshit in my eyes. Yes, I have. I've seen locks and chains just like these before. They look just like the ones that guard a person's secrets during the side block. I wonder if these locks are guarding something too. Dark secrets in a dark cavern. Hmm. <sighs> Could you take a look at this for me, Iris? Ow! The locks are far more important at this moment. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, she's right. I'm going to have to hold off on asking her about things for now. Oh, sorry, Mr. Wright. Mm. Alright, alright, fine, fine, alright. In which case... Let's go somewhere else. Jesus Christ. I'm finally getting to the bottom of this case. I can count on Iris to break those dogs, so I should try to get her more clues. From Sister Bikini, Edgeworth, Gumshoe. And Pearls, too. Wherever she is. Hmm. Edgeworth, are you here in the garden? Wait. Why is there a second talisman over there? Oh my god! We're dealing with multiple talismans over here! Nah, I, I, I think that's just a... I think that's just a game error thing. It should... Like, uh, that the talisman over there should have been uh, taken out. Since now we have it with us. I think it's a game thing. The cops are still combing this place. They look pretty nervous. Yeah, they're combing this place, alright. They have, they have those giant combs. It reminds me of Spaceballs. I'd be nervous too. And it's gotta be a tough job. And not for these fuckers, since they are lazy, like, most of the time. Hey! Here's someone that I can count on! Hey, boy. Especially with someone giving you the evil eye the whole time. How could I have done that? Oh. I don't believe he's still bothering him. Come on, Edgeworth. Don't blame yourself, right? It happens. It happens to the best of us. And you truly are the best of the best. Arr! Hey, don't you dare run away! Edward! What do you want, right? What do I want? If you came here to level me, then get on with it. Jesus Christ, man. We're your friends. Why would we laugh at you? Go on, laugh away! I was ready to hug it out with him. But he's just the same prideful Edward. You... Uh, you went back to the Criminal Affairs Department, right? You said you wanted to look into something concerning Iris. Oh yes, you did say that. Okay, Edward, spill the beans. Y yes. Yeah, thanks to what I found, I was reminded of something terrible. Alright, well tell us. Tell us the juicy bits. You guys are putting a lot of effort into the investigation of the garden here, huh? And there's a high chance this is the actual scene of the crime. That's why. You mean because they're riding in blood and the talisman in the snow? Exactly. As you know, those things couldn't have been planted here after the murder. But surely, you don't suspect... Maya, do you? We have to treat everyone as a suspect. Maya as well as Iris. It's our job, right? Hmm. So, I guess you still haven't gone over your fear of earthquakes. N no. Though, thankfully, my nightmares have stopped. Okay, well, that's good. 
But still, if the ground gives him the slightest tremor, I find myself short of breath. Seventeen years ago, when we were little school kids at the same elementary school, Edward found himself in the middle of a murder. It all started with a big quake that hit the courthouse. Yes, I was stuck in the elevator with my father, who was a defense attorney. We were deprived of oxygen and we passed out. And that's when it happened. And that single gunshot shattered my whole life. I lost everything that day, all because of that earthquake. My dreams, my family, and myself. It's been more than 17 years now. And that case was finally resolved two years ago, right? You think I don't know that? I was there! But... It was such a shock. I never imagined I could be so wrong about myself in my life. It's alright. There's... there's nothing else I can say. Not after you chose to become a lawyer for my sake. And not after you saved me. Aww. Hot take it down! Edward, you're stronger than you think. So no more of that, so no more of that self-pity, okay? 